He's a surgeon now. He took out all his tonsils. And his point blank refusing to give them back. How much longer are we going to ignore the elephant in the room? Where? What are you doing here, girls? Breaking and entering. No. Shut up, Marla. Oh. Be careful, girls. Head trauma causes memory loss and he might not know who we are. How many fingers am I holding up? None. Very good. And you turn 18 this week? So believe. Happy birthday. And also with you. Right. Help! This woman is trying to abduct us! Help! Fire! Fire! What the f*** are you all about? Get your attention to the rabbit somewhere! Kidnapper! Help! There's a kidnapper on fire! This is just so disappointing, girls. I mean, threatening a first year. We didn't threaten her. We're not stupid. Meg Mandy's her sister and she's half Gorilla. That's quite enough, Miss Mallon. Hey, shouldn't swear, Michelle, because when you swear our lady in heaven, she cries her tears, then make rain. Isn't that right, Sister Michael? What age are you now, Orla? Fifteen. Yeah, you might want to think about wising up. How bad do you think it is? Do you think it's, like, grounded bad or... Run away from home bad? Exactly. And if it is run away from home bad, I'm afraid I will need my snorkel back, James. Can I hold your gun? You're really not going to talk for 24 hours. Yeah, it's tough. You're better off not breathing. Would she be Orla? Or would she be dead? It's not doing me any harm. What? I'm not breathing for children in need. Oh, and that's happening now, as that you're currently not breathing. Correct. Grand. So how long do you plan to stay in the Republic of Ireland? Uh, just overnight. The purpose of your visit? We're going to go raid some farmers. Right. What are you supposed to be? Swans? We're not swans. Are we not? What's happening over there is really lousy, Erin. Father Conway showed us a video and there's this one wee fella, Kamal. He's only ten and every morning he walks 25 miles in the year's well. Does he just really enjoy whales, eh? Here, have you got a light? Me? No, I don't smoke. Why the hell do I not smoke? Hey, everyone. I don't smoke either. I just like melt and stuff. What even is brunch? It's a sort of half breakfast, half lunch. Like a cornflake sandwich. Sounds good. We want it back. What? You know what, dickhead? The money, the 500 points. I have no idea what you're talking about. But we can return the Kit Kats. No, we can't. Honestly, all are. The sweets, the crisps, the drinks, you know, etc. They're free. Absolutely. See you in a bit, lads. Suffocation, the secret life of a gay teenager. <laughs> it's anonymous. It wasn't me. No. This was written by a girl. A real life lesbian walks among us. I don't really believe in lesbian. She really suits being dead, doesn't she? What? Why oh, have you got the same results as me? This can't be right! Christ, you don't think there's been some sort of a mix-up, do you? Orla just does really well at exams, despite the fact she obviously, you know, is subnormal. Oh, thank you, sister. That Eileen Rafferty story did not add up gears. Do you think your mask's getting plumbed by the plumber? Well, I never trusted her. Not since the day I met her. She's your auntie, Orla. The day you met her, you were a newborn baby. Exactly. Hey, don't go mad now. I drank a quarter bottle this on Saturday night, ended up having an argument with a squirrel. Squirrels are such arseholes. There's lots we could talk about. Like? Like our hopes, our ambitions, our dreams. OK, so last night there was this lion chasing me, but it had wee, tiny legs. It was a full-size lion, but it had the legs of a sausage dog. Not those type of dreams, Orla. I'm just glad Orla isn't here to witness this, because it would completely break her heart. All right, Aaron. Orla, you touched your own party. It was crap. Hi, I'm Michelle's cousin, James. Why is he making that funny noise? He's English, Orla. That's the way they talk. Orla, that better not be what I think it is. You better not have brought my diary to school. I had to. I'm doing my book report on it. Damn it! Damn it! Well, I'm just so torn. I mean, I love my Easter dress. But this is cracker tight. There's just nothing that doesn't save me. Everything I own can fit into a suitcase. I've never understood why people weigh themselves down with meaningless crap, you know? Yeah, God, I just hate possessions so much. Does that mean I can have your Sylvanian family collection? Shut up, Arla. The fact that he's gone forever. It's so sad. It really is. It is so, so sad. But at the same time, you know what's done is done, so let's crack on. Oh, I'm sorry, Claire. Has his sudden tragic death interrupted your studies? Well, it has a bit, actually, yeah. Why can you be so heartless? Don't cry, Aaron. 
He's in a better place now. Unless he's not, you know, because unless he's gone to hell. The Catholics are Christ's sake. Have you never seen in the name of the Father? They'll think nothing of sending us for a crime we didn't commit. We'll be like the Guildford Four or the Birmingham Six. Or the Eighteen. Once your tent is erect, <laughs> you'll want to think about where to safely store your food. Because believe me, girls, you do not want to attract predatory animals into your sleeping area. Bears are particularly vicious. Yeah, I'm not sure how many bears there are in Port New, though, Jim. But there was a cheetah on the beach one time. And that was a greyhound, Orla? I know what I saw. Wait, wait, wait. Where are you going? Nature's calling. Whoa! Number one or number two? Excuse me? Just answer the question, John. I don't want to answer the question. I'm not comfortable with the question. Because if it's a number two, it's safer to bury it. You don't want a pack of wolves following your scent out in these parts. Those boys. They'll tear you limb from limb. We're inside. Very sophisticated noses, John. So what happens now, Peter? Well, I think the next stage is Rome. Audience with the big man. Pavarotti. John Paul II. This one has no name on it. An English rose among thorns. Yeah, I can see why you might want to remain anonymous, all right. Dog poem. Poem about a tree. This one's called Boys. I think boys are really class, especially the ones who have a nice ass. It's called haiku. That's not what I would call it. Dog poem, dog poem. I oh, hear someone's just drawn a picture of a dog. That is not bad, actually. Thank you very much. Picking a ride. No, seriously. Don't you be asking to go on that ghost train, do you hear me? You'd be all bully big balls at the time, but I'll have to deal with the fallout at three o'clock in the morning when you wake up screaming and crying about some fellow with no head. Oh, I love the fellow with no head. I'm sure a few have, you know, died from old age. We're in our thirties. Barely. I heard that, you. I'd have loved to have lived in the olden times. We didn't live in olden times. Imagine going to school on a horse and cart. Nobody went to school on a horse and cart. We are not worthy to receive you. Only say the word and we shall be healed. What if they sell out? They won't. I asked my man to light a candle. Oh, I can't believe we're going to see him play live. I mean, the man's a genius. He's a modern-day Beethoven. Except good. Look, I just love Halloween. It's the one night of the year that Protestants and Catholics set aside their political and religious differences and just come together and, and fight ghosts. No, Orla. Take them off, Orla. They're mental. They're cracker. Are they really suitable, love? They won't let you on the disco swing if you don't meet the height restrictions, Aunt Mary. I simply will not risk it. My 18th was three months ago, but our tight old mass wouldn't pay for two parties, so instead they've just amalgamated them. Uh, is there a theme? Oh, yeah. Totally. Oh, come on, then. What is it? Literary grades. Mom, keys. Mom, is she agreed to literary grades? She signed off on it weeks ago. Monkeys are class. How many pieces of communion do you think you'd need to swallow to eat a whole Jesus?